Marshall Ferguson alongside Colin Fraser as we get set for round three of the Bridgestone Canadian Superbike Championship. And so far this season, Colin, it has been Dumas dominance. Alex has been sensational in a really difficult round two at Grand Bend. Has made a large mountain now for Ben Young to climb if he wants to repeat his champion. Yeah, Dumas with virtually no mistakes. Uh, Young with a number of them. Not all of them colossal, but enough to really change the order of things. And really those two battled it out the last three seasons. There's a lot of separation. What's weird is they actually haven't raced each other this year. Yeah, it's not had a head-to-head -head battle thus far that we've seen. Now, there's been a lot of different riders on the podium, seven of them through the first four races of this season. Who's shown well for you outside of Dumas and Young? I think Garan's the story. We've been expecting something from him, that he's fast in the rain is not a surprise, that he crashed in the rain is not a surprise. Shubanakmi, a place that he likes, a place that the Cowboys tend to excel at if they can smooth it out a little bit. So I think everyone's going to be looking to see what he and his tuner Steve Beattie can come up with on the East Coast. And finally, we are looking at Shubanaki. Last year, it was the deciding round in the Canadian Superbike Championship. What is it about this track that changes the dynamic of the championship so much? It's a track where it's extremely hard to lap well consistently because we talk about ultimate pace. It really doesn't matter at Shuby. Typically, if you can do a string of 108s, you can win the race. Ben Young came from dead last three years ago and won the race in an amazing cliffhanger to the end. Uh, and that's what you have to do. You need to string the laps together. If you make a mistake, not bog down, not get stuck in traffic. So very easy to look fast there, very difficult to turn it into a race. And very difficult to get a race win as well. We'll see who comes out on top in round number three of the Bridgestone Canadian Superbike Championship.